Every teacher has that one question that comes back to them every year, no matter what. One of mine was always on the metric side of our ruler coming up and being told my ruler only measures in centimeters. Or if this was a little MM here, being told my ruler only measures in millimeters. Then we'd stop again and go back over as to how the ruler showed both. So let's go through and look at those. Here we start at zero centimeters. The ones that are marked with the large numbers are my centimeters and the small ones in between are my millimeters. So this one little red mark here represents one millimeter and then these blue marks here represent one centimeter. It takes 10 millimeters to get up to one centimeter. So 10 millimeters is worth one centimeter. So if we look here, if I take this longer one here in the middle, that's at one, two, three, four, five millimeters. Okay, that's still in centimeters though, because I know it takes 10 millimeters to make a centimeter, and I have five of them. So that means I have five tenths of a centimeter. Or rewrite that as a decimal, and I still have five tenths of a centimeter. Let's look at going the other way. Here I have three, which is my three centimeters. Well, I know that it takes 10 millimeters to make a centimeter. So if we count 10, 20, 30, three centimeters would also be the same as saying I have 30 millimeters. So yes, no matter what's written on your ruler by the zero, it does still measure centimeters and millimeters.